Hi guys! So I am here to do my monthly favourites, this being the end of the month of May. I have lots of favourite things to talk to you about this month, so let's get straight into it, shall we? Actually, before I do, I just want to clarify that I own more clothes than this jumper because it's in like all my videos. <laughs> but moving swiftly on. Entertainment this month, I don't have any favourite movies, I just haven't been watching a lot of movies, but to make up for it, I have two favourite television shows, both which are Netflix originals, the first being The Unbeatable Kimmy Schmidt, which I finally got around to watching, it's been out for a couple of months now, but I absolutely loved it. The first series on, is on Netflix and it's a comedy about this woman, Kimmy Schmidt, who has spent the past few years locked up in a like, apocalyptic bunker thinking the world had ended but it hadn't and she is set free and is now trying to make her own life in New York and it's just so funny and light-hearted and upbeat and great I just really really like it and it was made by Tina Fey so if you like her kind of humor like mean girls and stuff then you'll really like it the second is Grace and Frankie another Netflix original and this one actually came out this month and I watched it all in like two days because it was just so good it was about these two women in their 70s whose husbands work together at a law firm and it turns out their husbands are actually in love with each other and want to get a gay marriage so they leave their wives who they've been with for a long time Time and had many children with to do that and it's about the two women Grace and Frankie kind of picking themselves back up at this point in their life and trying to find a new way of living without their husbands and it's funny but also moving and again just like heartwarming kind of inspirational and the two lead actresses are phenomenal uh, Jane Fonda and I forget the other actress's name but they were both in 9 to 5 with Dolly Parton and they're just fantastic and I love that film as well. And I also have two books because I just couldn't pick. The first is a graphic novel and that is Rat Queens Volume 2. I adored this volume even more than the first volume. I love the artwork in the series and also the characters and the plot. It follows a group of like female kind of mercenaries or like heroes for hire. They're just a bit like loud, rude, crude, crazy, fun powerful, strong women. They're just fantastic characters and kind of like Dungeons and Dragons-y vibe and it's just phenomenal. I'd highly, highly recommend checking it out. It's set in a fantasy world. The second book I want to mention is Tom Holt's Portable Door. I have not been able to put this book down since I picked it up. It is a sort of comic magic realism fantasy book about this young man who gets a job at as a clerk at a firm and it turns out there's some weird stuff going on at the firm and the people that have employed him are a little bit strange. I don't want to give you any more spoilers than that but so funny, so so well written and kind of like if you enjoy the work of like Terry Pratchett, Douglas Adams, Debbie Glory then I think you'll enjoy this. I actually still have 50 pages to go of that one but I still had to mention it but once I have finished I'll definitely do a full review of it. It was originally recommended to me by my friend Rachel on booktube when we were in Morrison's last summer and I finally got around to picking it up almost a year later and I'm so glad I did. So I will also link Rachel's channel down below because I very much appreciate the recommendation. Now let us commence with YouTube related things and these are all pretty much videos or video related things. First video I want to mention is Carrie Fletcher's new original song on YouTube, Keep Up With My Love. If you know me, you know I'm not a massive music person. I don't listen to too much music. I prefer listening to audiobooks. I've just never been a massive music person. But I listened to the song because I'm subscribed to her channel and I don't know what it was, but when I was listening to it about a minute in, I started like crying. It just hit home. And if a piece of music really inspired that kind of serious emotion from me. I thought I had to mention it to you guys. Um, the next video is a, actually a series of videos and it is Mercedes from Mercy's Bookish Musings birthday haul. Um, so whenever it's like Christmas time or her birthday she does these massive hauls which are just phenomenal and this one was in six parts and there was just so many books in there that have been added to my TBR list. I think Mercedes has phenomenal taste in literature and I really trust her opinion. She's very discerning and she always just picks up really beautiful books as well so her hauls are always fun to watch. Definitely one of my highlights on booktube this month. The next video I want to mention is actually one of my own which might sound really weird. This is just a video that I really enjoyed making and was really proud of so it 
did make me happy this month so I had to share that with you guys and it's my ways to learn ancient languages video. Now I knew when I made this video it wasn't going to be for everyone because when I made it I was just thinking like even if like five people find this helpful it would be so nice. I think it did turn out quite well as a video, I think it was quite informative. That is how you guys seem to find it so I'm so happy about that and I would like to do more classics and ancient history related videos and I do intend on doing that. I always feel very satisfied when I feel like I make a video that's somewhat educational which is maybe a bit weird but I was really proud of that video. I wish I'd seen like five years ago or three years ago when I was like googling for stuff like this so hopefully it was of help to you guys and thanks for all your really positive feedback that was also a favourite. Whilst I'm on the subject of videos, I actually wanted to run something by you guys and that is, you might have noticed I have been uploading very regularly recently. I've been trying to upload every two days and it's actually worked a lot more successfully than I thought it would. Who knows if I will forever be able to keep up this momentum, probably not, but um, for now it seems to be working okay. But I did want to check with you guys because part of me almost feels like every two days is too much. So that really depends on what you guys want. If I can keep doing two days, every two days, would you like me to keep doing every two days as long as I can? Or would you prefer every three days or maybe three set days a week? I would really appreciate your feedback on that. Just let me know, I won't be offended. And the last category this month is makeup because I just, there's a couple of things makeup wise I wanted to share. So if you're not interested, <laughs> then you can click off now. The first is this new lipstick that I got and it's a bourgeois lipstick. It's their Shine Edition range. And it's in number 26 and it is basically like a nude colour. This is what it looks like on the lips. It's really nice because it's moisturising and it's quite sheer. You can build it up a little bit. That's like what you can build it up to or you could just do like that and get like a sheerer colour. So it's almost like a really tinted lip balm. So I have really really been enjoying this since I got it at the beginning of the month. And funnily enough, actually, I didn't think about this until now. The other product I have is also from Bourjois and it's a nail varnish. I love this nail varnish. You've seen it in videos before. It's one of my favourites, but I am wearing it right now. So I thought this might be a prime opportunity to just share it with you so you can see what it looks like on my nails. That's what it looks like there. This is their Ultra Shine range and this is in the colour Blue Fabuleux. French pronunciation is atrocious. Um, number 60. And I just adore this colour. This is two coats. You get a really highly pigmented colour with only two coats. However, it does chip quite easily is the only thing. I, have a, I would recommend using a good top coat that keeps them in place unless you don't mind so much. I mean, I'm a bit lazy so I don't always do that. I just love this colour, this like bright cobalt blue. I think this video is getting quite long so that is all for this month's favourites. Maybe you could recommend me your favourite YouTube video of the month. I'd love to hear what that is. In the meantime, have a lovely week and I'll see you all again very soon. <laughs> Bye guys.